Hi guys, this is Adrian. I had a real attempt on uh, summiting Mount Engadin just six days after my previous attempt. This time I, I rode my bicycle up to the wooden bridge here on a high rocky trail. Yeah, unfortunately, I started at 11.15 a.m., very, very late, this time of year, and uh, when I got to just 30 meters below the summit, even 26 meter vertical, it was pitch black, you couldn't see a thing, so I didn't even bother to to go to the very top. Uh, it was just a hike, but it was pointless. So I was focusing on uh, descending safely. I finally figured it out uh, how to connect all these ridges, thus avoiding uh, what people usually take sketchy sections along this uh, descent. I mean, there are some uh, exposed scrambling sections here that uh, it's enough to be wet or, uh, you know, make one mistake and uh, can be fatal or badly injured. Thus, I, I was looking to combine a traverse along some ribs here and gullies, which I succeeded, but it was very complicated. I mean, uh, you have to traverse exactly at one spot to be efficient. I had to flag the route. Then uh, here uh, is a section on uh, the remaining of the waterfall, which uh, luckily had a few, some dripping water. I was able to fill up my bottle, otherwise uh, I even filmed it. I would have been very thirsty, because again, I didn't bring enough water. I, I messed up my backpack. And uh, I really like uh, this kind of hills. It's like a treadmill on uh, grass that uh, I was uh, returning after six days just because of that, because I really like uh, this ascent and descent on a grassy slope, very, very steep. Everything is steep on this mountain. And uh, also the bike ride to this point on which I filmed uh, some bird a couple of times. I don't think it's Mountain Rooster. I forgot the name, uh, not Tarmigan, something else. Uh, so bike ride was awesome, especially on the way back, all the way down to the parking lot. It was amazing. The descent in the dark was very tricky. Like I said, I had to use my uh, flag in that I put during the two trips. And they were super helpful. Um... Uh, I was able to see them uh, using my headlamp and it saved me a lot of time because it's such a complicated route that uh, although not technically difficult because the whole point was for me to find a way that's not technical but uh, com complicated uh, logistically and uh, finding the route was absolutely a nightmare and uh, I had to look every five minutes at my phone, Gaia GPS, 
but because I was uh, having this flagging system place in place, uh, it saved me a lot of time. Also, in the dark, uh, I didn't come down straight forward uh, for obvious reasons. In the dark, you always uh, go off a bit, so I was zigzagging a lot. But uh, it took me a very long time, but finally uh, I figured out this connection. The last log here is super long. I was surprised how long it was. It looks small, but when you look at it on a picture, but it's uh, super long. So, yeah. That's why probably it, it cost me here uh, at the waterfall. I made a, a little mistake. I had to recede my steps, and that time I wasted here, I would have had enough time to to be on a summit, taking pictures and videos. But this mistake and uh, some other mistakes cost me. Plus. Uh, Initially, before I reached this water spot, I was concerned with my water, therefore I wasn't uh, as strong. So, yeah, please enjoy uh, the video footage I took up to here. From here is just darkness. There was a helicopter looking for something. Uh, here at the uh, Mount Shark Trailhead during the dark hours at 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. I don't know why. Maybe somebody got lost or something. Uh, so yeah, this was uh, Adrian signing out. Karnaskis, Western Canada. Obviously, I have other uh, videos with Mountain Garden. You can watch those if you need to see more about the route and other details. Cheers. This time I brought my bike. On the approach to Engadin. And here's a... I don't know what is that. It's not a mountain rooster. It's pretty common to find one. I see him flying. Hey! Yeah, I'm glad I brought my bike because it helps, even on the way back it will help. The second one, I don't know if it's... Uh, I'm uh, over a kilometer from the previous one. has to be a different one. It looks identical though. Okay, may as well uh, kill me 
I'm riding my bike. This guy's gonna fly away. Oh. There we go. Yeah, it's a really good bike ride. Yeah, today my approach is a bit more uh, towards on the right than last time. Different gully. This, uh, <coughs> according to some trip reports, is a descent gully people take, one of them. And I came uh, from that side, I traversed. There is a herd of sheep on uh, that side, but I'm not going to bother filming, it's not time. Today I don't, I want to minimize the uh, time when I'm filming, so this is very important. This must be the gully where uh, the waterfalls uh, are when the snow melts. I would imagine one of them. From here I cannot cross on the other side, I have to continue upwards. Yeah, this uh, ribbon was, these ribbons were placed by me six days ago yeah, I managed to traverse as I planned I'll show you in a minute uh, the traverse I did and I'll show you where I stopped last time So I traverse this gully to, to the crest over there, that's where I went last time, up there, but now instead of going up I'm going to continue traversing and I should uh, merge, I should merge uh, the other uh, gully I mean, the other route, the descent route, normally people take from uh, the summit on the way down. I should intersect it. One, if I intersect it on GPS, that means I'm all good. Hopefully I won't be blocked, but I have high hopes. I'm still not uh, intersecting the descent route, but here looks promising, up and then to the right, we'll see, because uh, that's my best option. Yeah. 
Yeah, I intersected the the ridge. Well, it's actually a detour, I believe, from. Uh, Then on the right you can see the, the descent, but look at the terrain. Quite incredible how many times I have to traverse Joffrey is visible. There must be the overhang from Kane's scrambling book. I traverse that way. Horizontally and uh, now again more traverses to reach the ramp. It's a never-ending section, set of sections to traverse. Oh, I'm at the waterfall. I just had a drink. I fill up my bottle. That's certainly because again I didn't have enough water today. So I just did uh, a series of traverses. Mount Assiniboine summit in the clouds and spray legs video. And definitely I'm not gonna go down this way. But I'm going to go up straight up, kind of zigzagging a little. Yeah, I try to go up this way and then go left, but it's too slabby, so I'm just descending back to the waterfall. Uh, I just don't want to risk, especially it's going to get dark soon. I need to know my way back. But, uh, it looks legit, but I guess it's not. Because both, uh, both roads up and down go along the waterfall there. So that's where I gotta go. This is clear at all, as opposed to here. And I'm at, uh, at the top of the waterfalls, where the three slopes are yeah I came uh, I don't know if it's visible the orange ribbon just a uh, climbers right on a uh, waterfall rushing to to see if I can make the summit. On the way down I will uh, go a bit over this rib, it's easier. Yeah, fossil, like many people mentioned they are here on this slope. Now I am uh, Fighting against time to to make uh, as far as I can. I gotta reach that top for sure. Yeah, it's a downfall. I'm not far from the summit, maybe 45 vertical meters, but uh, I gotta go down a bit because I got. Uh, Oh, there's no views whatsoever. There's not going to be any views. 
It's a shame. Three legs. Oh, I see a, I see a car on a lakes road. Wow. <laughs> no views. It's pitch black already on uh, the headlamp. And the summit is 29.70 meters, so just 20, 26 meters vertical from here. And to be honest, I don't even know if it's worth going. Uh, Descend. Zero views. Yeah. I don't know. There is a helicopter. So I'm looking for something with a light. Yeah, I'm descending now. I have no idea who they are looking for. <laughs> yeah. I see my ribbon, uh, I see my ribbon where uh, I'm supposed to go left from the top of the waterfalls here. Yeah, that's why it's good to it's good to put ribbons, you know, for, uh, for the return. Yeah, I, uh, I'm back at the water point. The only spot I could uh, fill up my bottle. And uh, here I'm going back on a traverse. I even uh, put some snow, you know, bottle up, up there, close to the summit, and now I melt it. Mount Murray and Chegna. I just made a stop here. 